has a lot of beans. Yeah, it has a lot of beans. Say what you wanna say to me now. If you guys do it, yeah, so we just carry it. Hello guys, what's up, what's up my beautiful people, welcome back to my youtube channel, it's a girl again here Miss Flay, for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos, and for the new members, you're so welcome, kindly consider subscribing to your girl here Miss Flay, yes, road to 10,000 subscribers, consider subscribing, like the video, share the video, I will really really appreciate it so much, yes, so guys, today I'm coming live, I'm coming live as usual from our beautiful home here in East Africa, Kenya, from Nyabuhanse village. Yeah, you can tell from my background. Yeah, so I'm live here in I am Mara's village. And guys, guess what? <clears throat> Today I'm actually super super excited to be here with you again, guys. Yeah, I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. Uh, or maybe you can tell me how about you guys. Are you excited to see me or when you see this face you're like yeah but with me i'm just excited to be here again in any way how are you all doing how is your morning how is your evening how is your lunch how is your night wherever you're watching this video from uh, right now here it's around it's around 1 p.m in the afternoon yeah and guys we are about to make some delicious meal for our mass of yeah and actually is when i've arrived is when i've arrived and we want we just we just want to prepare an amazing amazing meal here at our home for the masons yeah you all know that the the that the underground water tank is ongoing guys it's too hot it's too hot like i was coming down here like i i boarded a motorcycle yeah and just walking from the gate to the house guys i feel like fainting yeah like it's too hot today and i'm still not okay yeah so i will be trying to avoid maybe uh being in the sun too much yeah it's too hot and i've just came here at least in the shade we are having a beautiful shade over here yeah, guys, as you can see, those are our settings. And today we'll be cooking in Ajiko. We'll be cooking in Ajiko, and I'm just waiting for for Muruga two five four to bring for me some onions. Yeah, I sent him some onions from the kitchen garden. Yeah, and these are the tomatoes which he he has. These are the tomatoes yeah and some round onions but i told him to bring the spring onions also are good because guess what guys and here is our here is our fire which we'll be using eh umeamozi uzi yeah umeamozi approved sante ama nilikuwa nikate matawi haina shida uh, guys, so Murugas arrived with the onions here. Yeah, so because since people, the workers are hungry, it's about time to we start cooking a Santa and shkebas. Ah, peleke baba hi, peleke baba yo aone benyo machuna. Di Yeah, guys. So uh, it's cooking time. Yeah, and we are not having we are not having a good time. Yeah, and uh, sorry about the generator. That's the generator we are using. What are they using generator for? To, to cut the pipe. Uh, and who want a generator? Guys, I'm today is that they don't have a knife. This is a... I told you we, we should use this one. <laughs> no, we can't use a, a panga. No. But it's not hygienic. In no. a video. Yeah. They, are, they are washing. But that's why we could have used it. That's good. Yeah. We, we. yeah, they always do the panga, but it's not recommended. I don't want people to some some to some people to attack me on the comment section. Yeah guys, so, so. 
from cutting them, Moroga decided to un uproot them. You know, instead of uh, uprooting them, you can just cut them on the stems. I don't know if they are leaves or stems, but anyway. No, Wahala. Yeah. You could have divide them because we have cabbage. I'm a, we will no, you should mix. You are mixing with the cabbage. Yeah. You are mixing. Guys, today we are preparing a very uh, corn, corn maize mixed mix with uh, beans with some, with some uh, cabbage too. <laughs> yeah guys so I've cut the onions and tomatoes yeah, so these are my tomatoes uh, I have I'm mixing them Now it looks like yeah. So let me just go for it. Oh, guys, these are the giveri I was talking about, and today they really found a good giveri. This one is so good. Let me put a giveri mzuri. He na kai jaiva sana. Yeah, guys, so these are the gideris we are going to cook. I'm going to pre prepare with cabbage. Yeah, these are cabbage. Yeah, come and hold for me. Now we uh, just put this here. This is my salt. Yeah, so let's go. Go and cook. I wish there was some Roiko. I'm just putting a little salt because the gravy maybe has been they have already put salt. Yeah. So this gideri was bought from the hotel from the hotel. I love eating onions as I cook. Stop talking behind the scene, I'm recording. Keep on talking. <laughs> yeah, guys, so I uh, have to wait for the tomatoes to be well cooked and stop. Yeah, even me, let me sit here. Ah, finally. and cook without with, with no rush. So it's ready. I will go ahead and add the cabbages. Yeah. Uh, the very cooked cabbage are always so good. I love the crunchy taste of the cabbage. Yeah. Just mix them. So we are preparing lunch over here guys in Af in Africa. This is how we cook the berry. Yeah, but maybe you have different a different way of preparing your berry. Actually, this is the most 
This is very healthy, guys. If you eat this with porridge, trust me, you won't wake up. <laughs> yeah, this is very healthy and very nutritious. You see, it's a mixture of uh, maize and beans. You boil it, you boil them, and you cook it. I know, I don't know if in in um, countries like USA, Jamaica, they take such food. But trust me guys, this is the most common food in Africa and it's so delicious. Yeah, so guys, uh, we are taking you through how we are making it and we decided to mix it with some cabbage. Yes, we are mixing it with cabbage. So I'll have to add this also because you know cabbage, it shrinks. So you don't have to worry if the, if the sufuria will fit. So maybe if there is a bigger one just choose but cabbage normally shrinks so I hope it will fit yeah so just added the second cabbage yeah you know that there, there is a lot of workers so we just have to prepare enough yeah so we'll have to give this time maybe you can give me the tutorial I cover it with you No cabbage with uh, some uh, delicious gideri. Cabbage with some delicious gideri. Yeah. So they'll be mixed or cooked separately? They will be mixed. Okay, okay. Yeah. So it's always it's good. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, hello, guys. My name is Miss Fle. I'm back again here with my normal activities. And today we are preparing lunch. Yeah. Because it's lunch time here in Kenya. And yeah. I will say <laughs> this is one of the best. <laughs> nutritious foods you are having in africa and trust me when you eat these you won't wake up yeah, it if has carbohydrates it yes with the porridge yeah <laughs> the white one yeah very much balanced you know it has the carbohydrates which is the maize it has the proteins which is the beans and the vegetables are green vegetables vitamins yeah, yeah. Vegetables or are tomatoes <laughs> I don't know if tomatoes are uh, are vitamins yeah? or fruits. <laughs> or, yeah, but I think this is a good meal. Yeah. Yeah. Tomato is a maybe is a vitamin. Vitamin. Yeah. Yes. Gideri. Acha pike. Mbichi. Acha pike mbichi ba. Acha pike. Acha pike. Yeah. Yeah. So you can kindly go and check the. Acha iive. Afu tu kweke kwa sani. Sawa baba. Endo lete sani. Enda mbia yaya kupe sani ulete. Ukundani, and I'm here. Yeah, 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 so you see guys the cabbage is ready I don't want to overcook it because I always love the crunchy taste when you eat that crunchy taste then is what I really love uh, with cabbage yes yeah, so now now we'll just go ahead and anakopea. We'll just go a ahead and pour uh, our giberi like this. I really love this, this giberi because it has a lot of beans. Yeah, it has a lot of beans. You know, you know kids. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so I've added my first giberi. Just want to mix it first well. Yeah, and then when I add the second one. Yeah. See how it looks? Wow, it's, it's starting to take shape. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and add the second one. This is the second one. Yeah. Just go ahead and and uh, add this second one. Yeah. 
Now I'm adding the third one, which is this one, which doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look, uh, it was, it's okay. It does a lot of work. Oh, we should eat. we should just cook. And this one doesn't look well cooked. It was in the mail. Wasn't ready. You know that the, the other one was ready. This one is not that ready. I'm just add and meat. Yeah. It's very, it, it's very. But you know they sell dust. This is expensive than the other ones. Ah, huh? why? Yeah, I don't it, know. It is not even well cooked. Yeah, guys. So, mm, just adding it. All. So I'm going to do. I'm going to cover it and then shake. Thank you. Yeah, as simple as such. This is a trade. This is one of the most appetizing foods. Babe, mm -hmm. have you rated my cooking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, the best gideri. You know, gideri mixed with uh, either cabbage or uh, if we had some few, how do you call them? Break of it. No. Coriander. No, we had uh, oh, oh. Irish potato. Oh. Yeah, you can just chop them into small pieces mm -hmm. and mix them there and make a good meal. But this one, I think also the methods today, we change of, you know, every day has been gali, gali, gali. Yeah, I just want to so at least we change the, the, the diet. The diet today. Ah. Hmm. It's so good. So, we are just covering it and give it some time for it to cook. Yeah. But then, guys, we enjoy our meal okay so let me finish first my you know there are some people who doesn't like when you talk and you're eating yeah, so guys i was saying um, you can tell me in the comment section how do you always prepare your gideri because no People always have different ways in their cooking, right? Yeah, so maybe, guys, this is how I prepare my my gideri. Yeah, maybe you can share in the comment section how you normally prepare yours. I will highly appreciate. Yeah. So, we are just giving it some time for it to cook. And then we turn it and then give it like two min minutes and then mix. Remove it and start serving, guys. Yeah. And if you've managed to watch this video this far and you haven't liked the video, kindly give the video a like. Subscribe, guys, to the channel. We are almost at the level to 10,000 subscribers and we are remaining with just few numbers. We are remaining with few numbers for us to reach at 10,000 subscribers. Yeah, so, guys. Take me there very fast because there will be a huge party for us.
this will be a celebration we have to celebrate 10,000 subscribers and kind of guys take me there yeah in case you are wondering i'm just seated here this is a basket uh i think where he always when he sweeps he puts the dust yeah so it's not a, a usable pail it's just for liters yeah so you see how bubbling it, it has started bubbling bubbling <laughs> yeah and i just have to to turn it and yeah and it is now ready guys i honestly can't wait to eat this because i've started to salivate to salivate guys i've salivated salivating salivating let's give it time to cook for a while you see the reason why i love the the spring onions these are always the best while cooking it there because it always has the best taste yeah that's why and you see it has really given the food many colors our food is very colorful see how colorful it is very colorful guys so this is an african delicious meal yeah let's cover it for like two minutes and then we take it inside and guys we start serving our muscles because i i know right now they are really starving and they i know the aroma aroma is even making them to starve even more even more yeah and also i'm salivating my cameraman, are you hurting angry? Uh, quiet now. <laughs> um, you know, I, I've kept. <laughs> you know, guys, uh, he was talking while I, wa I didn't want him to talk because, like, I'm doing a video and he's like, don't do this, do this, do this. So, you know, when you are doing a video and you are talking behind the scenes, you know, obviously, they are hearing what you're saying. Yeah, and now when I want him but, to talk, he's not talking. That time I was telling you, that I think the salt is, is a bit enough. You know, and by the way, the salt is not even enough. <laughs> but everyone will add. Yeah. You know, the reason why I'm not talking uh, right now because I'm... Hungry? And, and the food okay. is making me... If you talk, the saliva will... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so guys, it's ready. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Yeah, so we just carry it inside, right? Yeah, so I will just carry it inside. I hope it won't burn me. Yeah, let it open for me the cookers. <laughs> yeah. You know, these marbles are not allowed to be, you can't put hot things. On top of the marble. Yeah, so what's, what's remaining place? No, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. And now, okay. I think so, seven or eight. We are. We are the mushrooms are four. Okay, so I will be serving little by little so that at least everyone can get. So when there is an extra, is when I will start. Yeah. yeah, I will be serving just a little bit. 
Yeah, so when there will be an extra is when now we Again, so these are all we have left. Uh, just a little in case of anyone enters here. Yeah. So, now what's next? Should we call them? Maybe you can go and call them. Yeah, so guys, this is how our food looks like. I've already served delicious berry. Yeah, so we are now checking the food for the mushroom. Yeah, you come here, yo. Haribu mlo. Asante. Vijuko nda hakuna. Yine, vijuko. Ah, mtu moja. Oh, Jose. What am I pata? Yeah, guys, this is mine. This is Yeo Kama He has a YouTube channel. Go and follow him. Road to 5,000. Hello, guys. Welcome to this play YouTube channel. You know, Friday, your money. Kwanza good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You know, plus to hear Leo. Miaunka poa kabisa ni miaunka salama. Siju nyewe zangu lakini. Na nye pia na amini ya kwamba wa miaunka salama. Ila kwa wale ambao kwa mjisiki vizuri. Poleni. Jomani poleni. Na wale kwa ambao unaumo. Jomani ugua pole. Onaonaje giveri yangu. How do you see my food? Eh ni kitamu. Mwaja kwa zani umalize. Muruga. Ni kitamu. It's amazing. It's delicious. E, nasema ni asante na shukuru mm -hmm. e, Naamini ya kwamba kuna ingine merikia kwenye majukumi ya utaftani mm -hmm. e, Naamini Put for me some salt also Naamini na kuna ingine ya mbo mpo nyumbani katika majukumi ya kazi za nyumbani Wote na watakia kazi njema mm -hmm. Alafu nasema ni asante na shukuru Kwa hali ndugu wote mno support ndugu zangu wa channel ya YouTube Akiwemo, Blaza Maro, Blaza Mayugno, Blaza Nasto Mabele Musa Misifle Sipriani, wajia, ni wengi, tifanya hivyo Na huyo Sipriana ni ya kuanga nani? Sipriana Utamukia tuko mwona, ni wakia mwona hivyo Oh Ali, nulia Za nizuri Oh, juu nazema kwa Sipriani kujia gini Kuna wana kujia chiti Aya, asante sana ye Nasema ni asante alafu 
Subscribe me to play at the 10,000 subscriber. Ah, yeah. I say, I'm going to pay me to pay you 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 to pay Makande. Eh, makande. Mm. 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 jano mama vika kisema ni makande. Lakini wengine wanasema ya kwamba kideri. Kideri ni kikuyu. Kikikuyu. Mhm. Na naishukuru pia mm. kufahamu ah. kikuyu. Lakini ah, kidogo. Kwa, lakini na mimi kwa Kiswahili anaitwa mm. makande. Aya so guys, uh, this is my food. I've started to to dig in. Yeah. Yeah, also welcome. Mm. So sweet. This is my hubby's. This is my my husband's food. Yeah. And guys, this is this is what Gusara. Let me just give it a try. Swelling the nature of dog, but Gusara is an African porridge. Traditional yeah. porridge. Traditional porridge. Yeah. Matemenda. Hello. Mm. Yeah, guys, so it's lunch time. Let me take um, last of food for him, babe. Babe, babe, oh. your food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, guys. So this is what we are having for lunch. Yeah. A very healthy meal during lunch time. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, an avocado. I wish. Uh, I yeah. wish you remembered. Yeah. We will have bought maybe at least a piece. Yeah. But that's why we are planting some avocado trees. Yeah, well when you can see our is already. Yeah, at least today you know we have we are doing the covering. Okay. Also some pipes this metal should be laid here. Oh. Yeah, and also we will uh we have done the plumbing. Piping. Yeah, the piping. So this is for electricity. Oh this one is for pumping the water out, this one is the inlet. Okay. Yeah. So at least the tank oh. is taking shape. The tank is it has really taken shape. It yeah. has been a long journey. Yes. Eh, we've really bombarded with it. Wow oh, guys, so this is our underground water tank. Yeah. Anyway, guys, let's eat first because I'm starving. Yeah, let's eat first and then we'll be back. Yes, yeah, so guys, we are done with cooking and eating. Yes, uh you can try the recipe at home at your various places and you can tell me i hope i know you will love it here so guys my husband is over here yeah yeah, yeah. i'm trying to Sweet. clean the house yeah so that we don't uh that fight and we'll try also to to be getting in without shoes yeah, yeah. we can be leaving our shoes down there yeah as we get into the house to yeah. to reduce the workload you know yeah. So anyway guys, it was a, such a, a nice meal. I've enjoyed lunch. I think everyone is full. The Masons are uh, are officially back also to their duties. Yet, I think maybe in the next two, three days, our water tank will be finally done. Yeah. Because now today they are putting up the metals. Tomorrow, probably tomorrow, they'll now put the slab on top of the underground water tank. At least God has favored us. In as much as we are suffering through the the dry season, it was the best time for us to to build the underground water tank. Because imagine if maybe it was raining and all the water maybe going into the the tank, yeah. so it would have been uh, somehow difficult. But at least it has given us time to to design it very well. Although we are buying water at the moment. But hopefully, from maybe the middle of the month, yeah, we won't be. Well, now it rains, we'll be. Yeah, we'll have at enough least now we'll have enough enough water. I yeah, thought so this is the last yeah, crisis. And yeah, and also we we I hope maybe one day if we have the kitchen here. Kitchen. Yeah. 
the outdoor outside kitchen here maybe here oh side. i thought you were saying here not here <laughs> you know this oh here. yeah the other side yeah, this place here i think a house uh even a two bedroom house can be enough here yeah and then maybe towards the end just a small room you know an outdoor kitchen doesn't need maybe like a, a big space yeah so already right now i have uh the blocks i have two thousand blocks yeah, someone supported me with two thousand blocks i'm yet to buy them i know you are looking around wondering where they are but very soon because of the <coughs> strikes here and there yeah we are so having my getting the money. getting the blocks to this place is not that easy but yeah. already we have this type oh wow so we will buy this this type of uh blocks we will use this type so we have 2000 maybe they could be are these made actually these ones are maybe mined from somewhere oh yeah they are mined like the stones which yeah, you are just using. like the stones okay so the house maybe can be here yeah and maybe the kitchen on the other end yeah so it will be very easy and also you know at least for for company you know staying in a home just alone yeah. And also, I'm very sure once we move to this place, our nephews, our nieces, My our relatives, our friends yeah. will, be, will be coming to visit us here. Very true. So at least if you have maybe a spare room for them, yeah, at least uh, it's easy. And also maybe one of you guys, one day when you travel to Nyabuanse village, yeah. and maybe you come to visit Nasto, can easily be accommodated yeah. inside, uh, inside one of the houses. So... Right now we are working through the challenge. You can imagine if visiting here and maybe you don't have uh, water so, yeah. uh, and also maybe a space for the visitor. It cannot be a good. So right now we are working on the water issue. At least if we have water and maybe one day also uh, at this side here, you can come or you are tired. <laughs> no, I'm following you. Yeah, and this that other end here, here is now where... Uh, we will find a way mm -hmm. where they can design uh, a tank. You know the metals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the metal one. The it metal is, tank. Yeah, the tower. Oh, you know okay. It? Yeah, I yeah, know. So it. it can maybe start. You know that one. Maybe it can even start from here. One metal there, another metal there. Yeah. And then the tank now can be raised. Yeah. Yeah, it can be. It can be easy. You know, the, the land is slanted like this. Yeah. So up here, if we have the tank, and also that underground water tank, mm -hmm. we can we'll put a pump inside. It will be when pumping we get the water. pump, so it can just pump the water here up to the tank. So it wow. can just be supplying the the house with uh with water. Yeah. And also today I was saying maybe one day in future. If we ever have, because I believe God will uh, will make a way. We'll yeah. keep, uh, if maybe, you believe, uh, with yeah. me I always say if you believe in something, you have to you go get it. For sure, for sure. So we'll try to work so hard so that one day maybe when we afford uh, the underground driller, you know the machine that usually comes and digs maybe a bore oh, yeah. deep inside the, the ground. Inside the core, is it yeah. a core? Okay. inside the earth and then we get the pure water <coughs> yeah. so maybe we can dig it towards the end of the compound yeah so one day you know this area here this community here we a lot of people really suffer from uh, water so one way of giving back to this community here yeah. is one day if we have that drill yeah. then we can put pipes you know out there where we have planted grass out outside now the fence we can just put pipes like uh, taps coming from the wall maybe two taps oh okay anyone that just passes through the road just uh, open clean water you drink or you fetch water that has been my dream at least you know a community like this that is the best gift you can ever give them at yeah. least free clean w water. drinking water yeah. that will be my goal for the next years i believe one day we'll i will achieve that yeah and at least give uh, our neighbors because i always see them you know we, for us we are buying water so i always see them maybe st struggling to go to the river yeah go to different homes you ask for water so at least that one now will be for at least for drinking not for sale maybe they get it here they go and sell no yeah. it will be for maybe drinking for at drinking. least you can drink maybe a road user is walking yeah, that's can easily open the pipe. 
drink water you drink and water. you continue with your journey you, go, you can see right now the way the solar is, it's is too so hot. tough it's yeah, too it's so hot. Yeah, and so today when i came like when i arrived yeah. just walking from the gate to the house eh, yeah there's I felt like so much wind so i was much, so i much was dust. and the uh, sun the sun yeah. is very hot yeah but we thank god at least you know this place also when we got it did not have a lot of shade but right now you can see even this wall yeah has really provided us with uh yeah, i remember shade. the first time yeah, when there was no shade here <laughs> there was no shade i remember look for shade. it was bushy yeah, it I was think. it was eh, but it right now made, we've really made it to be uh, a home has become now a beautiful home so yeah we are preparing also because this month i believe it will start raining oh wow so also we are trying to prepare for the rainy season yeah we have already put the trenches for water yeah and also we have tried to plant uh, we have already put shade in the kitchen garden the fence yeah so when the rainy season starts uh, things will be very okay easy. Uh, things will be very <coughs> easy but for this month you know last month i had promised myself that i will be working on the underground water tank and i'm happy that we have finished we are almost finishing we are on the last touches yeah, we are the, on the last touches so this month uh by god's grace uh, this this is this will be the project either we put a house here yeah. or on the other end and uh, on top of the water tank so that you know now so that if we if we, we can either build here so i'm still getting suggestions from you guys maybe also from miss flair's side you can help us decide mm -hmm. whether we can put just a not not an expensive house maybe like just, just a, a simple, simple design yeah. maybe the slope one with the normal roof yeah, with just a normal roof here or on top of that water tank so that one can also be used as a stove so that we now remove this you know you remove the stove now we can remove these materials from this house oh, okay we repaint it we can even put a bed here and remove this as a stove okay with me i prefer you just build this side yes. because when you build it on top of the underground water tank you will will you will spoil my view from my bedroom <laughs> I, it's not it's not by the bedroom window you can go and see okay <laughs> the, the bedroom window is uh is very far from this this is the past so here this the view is still there you can see yeah, the view is still there. Okay. You can go there and close. You can see that you still have the good view, you see? Yeah. See, the house will be far. At least, you know, the house now will start from there going back. So it won't destroy the, the view. Okay. So the house can be here, maybe up to where the container is. The yellow container, you see? Yeah. Yeah, maybe up to there. Just a normal house, maybe. Maybe where yellow can be staying. You see? Yeah, yeah, it it can be it can just work. Yes. Yeah, it will work. Yeah, on, on also you know we will have saved on space. Yeah. For the underground water tank, we will not have misused this space because now a house will be on top. And also, mm -hmm. you know the underground water tank for security reasons. You know it needs a controlled house where at least you can lock the door so that no one can go. You know water is everything yeah you can imagine just having your underground water tank not guarded very well and also it will have a machine so at least if we put a house on top mm -hmm. yeah maybe we can build it, it can on the yeah, it, can side. it can secure the machines yeah and also it can be like a control room for yeah. the for the machine that's not a bad idea yeah. so if you can use them down there you just be a just a good design or up here so i'm still getting suggestions from you guys at least you help us with uh, maybe good ideas because it will not be like a big house yeah just a small storage house maybe like a, a machine house but mm. at least with a bedroom where maybe you can be sleeping you know right now it's in here before we move yeah. more officially into this <coughs> into this house. so i hope this bunch of cement will be enough to cover the 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 hall yeah yeah hopefully i think there'd be enough we have we already have also sand so there are more than enough yeah 
So for me, I'm thankful for everyone who has been uh, of support to us. Thank you so much. And also uh, on the flowers, I, I think this type of flower, I've come to realize. You see yeah. this one? They're always called, yeah. uh, I kind of forgot their names. Oh, a good thing about this flower that I've really loved they can survive. is even during dry season, they you don't see them drying that much. They're, are they indigenous? I'm not sure. Or have guessed? So this one, we will try to we will try to do away with this. Yeah. So this one, we will remove this one. Now this we, one is even makes this place bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll remove that one. We try to spread them here. Yeah. Also, yeah. you see, this one is not that good. I think it's too big. Yeah, it's too so big. So you don't need a big flower. It makes this place bushy. Yeah. So this one, we remove it and plant just these small ones. Yeah, these ones they can they really do well even yeah, in dry season. Seven levels. Yeah. So once this one spreads, yeah, this is now. I think now. One to replace. We yeah, can we replace this. using these ones which are in the container. So what do you think? Yeah, no problem. Or maybe we'll also this type, you see. Yeah. Also this type is very good. Yeah. So here we have put, to put the crawling, crawling yeah, plants. plants, not the big ones. I think that is something that uh, I've realized yeah. and we will work on it. Yeah. yeah. So we are going to remove this, this type. This one is too big. This one is too big and during the dry season and also it holds a lot of, uh, a dust. Lot of dust, you see? Yeah. It holds a lot of dust. So we are going to remove and it. And you know, right now it looks like uh, the local yeah. plant. Yeah. Where which you find in the bush, yeah, like which grows by yeah, themselves. So this one we remove, this one we remove. We just leave the the small grass that yeah. at least cover like this. I really love how this one yeah. is is covering that place. Maybe. So most of the yeah. So the, maybe also that one. Yeah, try, so that one can. The, yeah, or especially the smalls. You see, like this one. It's very yeah, good. Very simple. Yeah, very simple. Yeah. So that is what I've also realized. Yeah. Yeah, you see, uh the main reason why I was thinking of the kitchen, you see, like right now today's video Miss Flair has done. Yeah. She was cooking from out here. Yeah. At least if we have maybe a just a small you know a kitchen doesn't need maybe to be too big. Too big. Just a place like maybe a corridor. Yeah. Where you can like, just cook from there. Yeah. And uh and everything is uh is just okay. Yeah, everything is just yeah. okay. Yeah, so guys, that's the plan for us. Yeah, you know, in building a home, the, every day you just sit and come up with a good idea. Yeah, with different but, ideas. But I really think an outdoor kitchen is really required because maybe yeah. imagine during a maybe a celebration. Yeah, you need a big like you need uh, an extra kitchen, an extra especially kitchen. cooking with firewood is always much faster. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's what we will we will do. We just build a with time for us all we request for is you guys keep supporting us keep watching our videos please most of all don't skip the ads and also feel free to drop the the comments and also let us know maybe any other ideas that uh that we can implement in yeah this, in this place yes yeah, so guys are almost done with our ma uh with our videos yeah so if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly do so subscribe to my loving hubby it's nasto's channel road to 30,000 subscribers and also don't forget my brother ken digest he's really working hard and i've been i can see he always updates you guys in every progress taking place back there in our home yes so kindly go and check him out and support him i will really really appreciate you so guys in the meantime let us end let us call this day an end and anyway guys bye bye for now see you next time in my next video